las gafas. Ew, ew, ew. What is up, super bitches? Welcome back to my channel. I have a wonderful mukbang for you guys because I feel like I haven't really been making mukbangs lately and I want them to be like, you know what I'm saying? So today on the menu, I have some tacos de pastor. So I kind of went, you know, a little bougie today because you know me, I like to eat good. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So basically, I want to show you what I have because, yeah. Anyway, so I do have some tortillas that I preheated. These are the cute little, um, the little street ones. They nice. So I have that. I have some cebolla, some cilantro, some limon. This bomb aguacate chile that I got at Superior. So shout out to them. Some refried beans, some queso fresco, some rice that I made, my meat, and I also have this, um, I know, okay, now this is doing the most. This is like some extra bougie Becky shit. So this is Trader Joe's Organic Agua Fresca. It's not like super authentic, but I'm a bougie bitch, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so let's get started, okay? I feel like I haven't been on like lately. Last month I was on a roll. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I was dipping in Dunkin'. So, you know, this month I'm trying to take a little, you know, a little break, a little, you know, chillaxing. So let me go ahead. This is kind of like um like a DIY like make your tacos party. I've never been to a white party, but if I ever did, if I ever had a white party, like a Becky party, I'd be like, okay guys, so grab your chorizos and your stuff. Oh, I just like figured out that I'm gonna double dip and someone's gonna leave it on the comments they're gonna be like oh my god did you see kevin he literally used his same spoon to dip the meat and the beans and the rice and the chile that is disgusting listen bitch i'm eating it it's going into my mother mouth so don't worry about it okay <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just gonna get started because you know put some cebolla i'm not a super super big fan of cilantro but you know just just for the aesthetics you know what i mean Anyways, if I had a white Becky party, I'd be like, yeah, oh my god, just make your own tacos, like, yes. These tacos kind of remind me of, like, the ones from Tijuana. Those are super, super bomb. And, okay, now that I double dipped, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wipe it down there. And I'll eat the beans and rice set, like, in this bowl, okay? So let's just have one just to get started, you know? These are, like, appetizers. Like, I cannot stand people that are like, oh, I'll just have two. I'm gonna have three, like, I'm gonna eat like three on camera, and then when the camera's off, I'm gonna eat about like 20 of them. So I'm just letting you guys out. Mmm. 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 So, anyways. So, how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. You know me, so. What, what am I going to talk about today, you know? You know, so while, while I was, like, preparing everything, because, like, dude. <clears throat> oh, my God, I'm choking. Dude, YouTube's literally production. Like, you have to prep everything. It's a lot of work. So while I'm preparing, I start thinking about, like, okay, so what's my idea going to be, you know? And I decided... I was like, hmm, that's the problem with mukbangs, is that I'm too, like, focused in telling the story. I'm just going to be eating. So if you need to hear a story, you can wait, because I'm trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> this is low-key kind of bomb. Okay, now I'm going to stir my rice. <laughs> okay, so anyways... So I was thinking as I was preparing for this mukbang, I was like, all right, cool. Like, what am I going to talk about? Like, or, like, so like, what or what? And I was like, dude, I'm going to talk to them about my confession of high school, like my high school confession. So for those of you who don't know, I was actually like really involved in my high school. I think I've said this before and like nobody cares because, you know, it's already like it's high school and nobody cares what you do in high school. You know, you're just like a loser when you like, graduate. But I was like really involved with my student government so i was like student body president i was like the head honcho my you know asb i was dipping in dunking you know so i had a lot of experience like talking i always had to go to stupid meetings and i was just like why the hell am i doing this like for what but 
I think it really did help me like prepare myself to be an adult and that's why I think like, I can do this YouTube thing pretty well because it's just like okay go live it's live and a lot of people don't like they can't do that like when you turn on the camera you gotta be like <clears throat> you just gotta be focused and linear you know and so um I think that's where I got a lot of just like my practice like my skills of just talking and being social because I'm really introverted like had I not done student government I don't like probably be homeless because I just yeah it really took me out of my shell so anyways the only downfall about like being in student government and like being in like oh you're a school leader was that all the teachers on campus knew who I was all the teachers like knew like oh well Kevin's you know the student body president so he needs to be an exemplary example of what our high school you know blah 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 like shut the f up and for a long time I was really like that like my personality I'm like I'm not a suck up bitch but I kind of am I mean and like i don't know i would just always want to do the right thing and i was boring like i'm the grandpa like ask like jenny and Janita, like they'll tell you yeah kevin's the grandma of the group like well i still am you know and so well anyways so my student advisor like my student director she was like you need to be like you need to lead the example kevin like you can't be acting up like it's really important like a lot of school te like all the teachers know you so you can't be doing things because like, you know senior year mm is like the year where everybody wants to go wild and do crazy things well i mean i wanted to go wild too but it's just i couldn't because I, I would always be like dude i can't because what if you know our advisor catches us i'm gonna get in so much in trouble so i was always boring you know but it was just one day where i was like you know what i ain't getting paid for this like i'm working for free we would literally work so much for what and i never got paid it was like an internship for school why the hell was i in student government no it was really fun but so anyway so my like high school was like really good at sports so we would always like go to like championships and blah 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 so it was during like mm, it was during baseball season don't ask me when that was because like i don't remember but our school was gonna play at this like cif like championship game versus what school was it i forget the school but it was some white becky school because you know um and so we were going to play at the la dodgers like arena and so it was like a field trip and they got like seven buses and all the seniors like lots to go and it was like so much fun i went with all my friends the three of them that had, i went with jenny i went with janitza and we were just gonna have fun that day like it was about to be on and pop in so we had to drive from like riverside all the way to like um la to like the dodger stadium like we literally had a baseball game at the dodger stadium <laughs> and so that was like like i said there was like six or seven buses and there was like teacher chaperoning or whatever and i was like on bus number one with all my other friends you know so we were like in the back and we always would sit in the back because you know if you sit in the back like you're gonna do bad things like you're gonna be wild you know <laughs> so of course we sat in the back and we were just like fucking around we were doing shit we weren't supposed to do and tell me why <laughs> we were so immature I'm not telling you you should do this but I'm just saying like this was a personal story that I did so Jenny took out a tampon <laughs> I don't know why we had a tampon but she like took it out and she was like, dude, you know what we should do? We should rub lipstick on it and then place it outside of the window. And I was like, no, dude, like, um, we're gonna get in so much trouble and blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, dude, who cares? Like, do it, do it. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And she, she like took out the like, we took out the pad or whatever, right? And so she had like this lipstick and it was like some ugly lipstick, like sorry Jenny, but it was like some ugly caca brown color like lipstick. And so you know what we did? We got the lipstick and we just like smeared it all over the, <laughs> we smeared it all over the tampon and we were laughing and they were like, make sure that you guys don't litter on the bus. And we literally littered everything. We threw like the, like the little like, tampon paper i don't know if you have tampons like i don't i don't 
or pads or whatever. If you use Kotex, then you know what I'm talking about. I don't really use them because I don't have a vagina, but if I did, then you know what I'm saying? So we like threw it on the floor and then like I was sitting on the window and Jenny was sitting on the other side and she was like, dude, do it on your side. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I guess like when you peel, like the pads, um, ladies, I'm sure you know this, but I have to explain. Like the pads have like this like adhesive thing in the back. So you peel that and I guess that's supposed to stick to your underwear. I don't know. And then, so it was like a sticky part of the tampon. And dude, <laughs> you know what I did? So I took off the like adhesive we rolled down the window and I think like you weren't supposed to roll down the windows because we were on the like dude we were on the freeway going to LA in a big bus good thing my advisor wasn't on like the bus that we were like in because she would have probably caught us and I would have probably gotten suspended and so I got the tampon and I literally stuck it on the outside of the window so like we literally had a tampon just like flying outside of the window and it was like flapping with the little flaps and cars were passing by and they were looking at it and we were laughing like it was so funny to us we were kids you know no hum this and this and that and you know we were just laughing and we we're like ah who cares like whatever so you know we had our whole entire day and we went to the like we went to the uh, the stadium. We watched our baseball team play. They won. We were super excited. And we were jumping up and back. And so we had just like this really, really long and fun day. And I was tired. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep. So we just like fell asleep in the bus. And we came back home to like school. And then I think my parents picked me up whatever. The next day. I think, I don't, I don't remember if I was like on a Saturday or like a Friday. But anyways, whatever day it was. Like, so then... Um, on the following Monday, <laughs> so I literally had like, I had, um, student government for fourth period, but I had like, you guys are gonna laugh at me. I was like such a good nerd. I had zero period as like my student advisor's TA. So I spent like literally all day with her. I had zero period with her and then I had teacher assistant for third period. Actually, no, hold on. My senior year, I won't talk about it cause I'm gonna get in trouble. But anyways, so I had her zero period. And then I had her third period, so I would like just spend time with her before student government, and then I would have her for fourth period. So I had my like, advisor for three periods in the day, so we spent a lot of time, and we would just like talk and stuff, and like get ready for our meetings or whatever. And she would like give me all the cheese mids. Like ugh, I felt like so cool, but I wasn't. And then so the next on Monday, I was like, oh my gosh, like Miss, what? I was like, I had so much fun. Like it was so much fun. And she was like, oh, like, I'm super glad, but you know what, Kevin, I'm really disappointed. And I was like, why? And she was like, ah, these stupid kids, oh my God, guess what happened? And I was like, what? <laughs> these stupid kids on one of the buses left the entire bus totally trash they left like all these things on the floor and i was like oh my god no way are you serious oh, oh my god i can't believe them like who would do such a thing she's like no and that's not even the worst part the worst part is that somebody one of the stupid kids was trying to be funny and they got a feminine hygiene product and they smeared stuff on it and they put it outside the bus window i am so angry and i was like oh my god i can't believe them who would do such a thing like that's not okay dude and i was so scared because i was like she knew she like i, I thought she knew that it was me i don't know i have the guilty conscience so i was like i'm gonna get caught and i was like oh my god like uh, uh, oh my god like who and who who did it you know and she was like, I don't know who did it, but I'm gonna do some investigation. And when I find out whoever did it, they're gonna get expelled from the school because I already talked to the principal and I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna get expelled. Like I, I'm, I'm supposed to be like, the person who never does anything bad, like I'm gonna get caught and you know? And thankfully, like to this day, she never found out who it was. So in case she watches this video, like, I'm sorry I did it but I mean you can't be mad because like 
I was a kid and like I still graduated college and I'm just you know what I'm saying <laughs> so that was like one of my funniest stories that happened in high school it was like super embarrassing but thank god I didn't get caught because if you like these types of videos make sure that you comment like and subscribe um follow me on my social media platforms on instagram twitter youtube you now all that good stuff you know um go ahead and let me know your high school senior year most craziest moment what did you do you get caught doing it i want to know your stories okay thank you guys so much for supporting my channel i love you so much i will see you guys next time let me know what kind of videos you also want me to make i will see you and have a special surprise for you but i'm not going to tell you until i'm like doing the thing that i said that i'm going to do because i'm going to do it but I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what I was doing. All right. Last guy. Last. I, 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 I suck my ass. I suck my ass. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Up in the air. I want you to jump. Jump. All right. Cool. We done? I'm about to really eat. <sighs>